What is going on guys? It is your boy Cecil here. Bring us a video here today. Bring us a video on English is hard. Photoshop Illustrator video here today. Showing us how to make this really cool liquify texture pattern thing that I'm gonna put right here in front of my face while I talk for a second. But I think this is so freaking cool. It's very subtle. Uh, and su well, the way I mean subtle, and the thing is the application of using this is actually super, super, super easy. Um, so realistically, I've used this on a couple projects on my uh, like company projects for like, you know, uh, I can't probably say the companies, but X company here, X company there, super popular. They, of course, they all love the actual effect of it. It's very fun. It's very playful. I think again, once again, the application of using it is very, very easy. Um, but also what's even the best part is the actual creating it is just as easy. So hopefully you guys learned something really cool today. Um, I wasn't even going to show this video that quickly, but I'm going to show it regardless. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. And that's all I got. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you guys are new to me, um, maybe you want to comment. Let's like, let's talk about each other. Let's not do it. Let's just go ahead and just subscribe to me. We move on and show you guys the video. How about that? All right. Enjoy your day. And uh, thank you for watching. Let's go. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and hop into this video right here, right now. So of course, to make this effect, we're going to be starting off inside Photoshop, then moving this in from Photoshop into Illustrator. And then of course, you can do whatever you want after that and put it back in Photoshop, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So what we're going to do to start this off. Okay. Let's get a little comfortable. Let's go to file new and go to 3840 by 2160 300 resolution. Just like, so this will basically give you a nice little 4k resolution, which I think is a pretty much perfect for us. Um, even though it doesn't really matter too much, you can do 920 by 1080. I just like the 1340. Um, 13, 1380, 380 by 2160, thir yep, 3840. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new layer just like so, okay? With this new layer, we're gonna use a nice black brush. So the foreground color right here on the left-hand side is gonna be black. You wanna make sure this is black, okay? Once this is black, you can use any brush realistically at all, but I'm gonna use a nice little simple 100% uh, hardness brush at about of a size of, let's just say 600 in this document size here. Um, I can't do that. Let's just do 400. Okay. Just like so I can just make it bigger with alt right clicking and moving left and right to go uh, bigger, but I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I would say about 800 or so is a pretty good size. Um, but what this space I want to do, I want to create two or three different shapes, like two to three random shape. I'm like random strokes. Like this right here is one shape. This is two. This is three. This is exactly what you want to do. You can either do two or three. Uh, I would say two would give you more space. Um, to work with liquify three is basically a little more tighter and gives you more shapes overall when you start mixing them together um so realistically you can just do any size brush but just one two just random things three it could even be close like that i don't like that i'm just gonna go like this but three shapes okay once you've got your two or three different shapes of course the varies of right now right um even if you want to use actual like triangles and circles or um rectangles you can do literally any kind of shape ever just i'm using a brush and i think it's pretty simple and easy and you pretty much come with the same end result no matter what Okay, so on this new layer now, I'm going to take the filter and we're going to use liquify just like so. So I'm going to apply some liquify onto this layer right now. Once it opens up, I can just let's go to like 50%. I think 50% for the preview screens would be pretty good for us. And the size here will go to like 21 or 18. Let's go to eight. Let's go to 1600. 1600 size and 100 pressure. Let's do 85 here for this and let's do 80 density and we can do it at a rate of 80. So this right here, it should be on the smudge tool, by the way, the forward uh, wrap tool, which is the first tool on the top left of your liquify right here. And I would say, like I said before, 1600, 50, and then 85 for the pressure. Just like so, we have our nice little brush to work off just like this. So we're going to click and drag. So right now, the, the motions that you're going to be doing here that I think are pretty good and solid because I've been in here for like maybe like a total of like eight hours probably on this effect alone um, is like this 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 move right here, right? Like I, that exact same motion is exactly what I'm doing with my mouse, right? A little bit of this as well. If I do like this way, I like to go this way as well. I definitely like to do something like this is what I do, like a nice little circular motion, a pretty big circular motion. I'll come out from the outsides here and do like really big circular motions, um, kind of like a spiral. And that's kind of like the shapes and the way I'm kind of navigating it. You can of course go like zigzag or really weird or go nuts with it. Um, but I think realistically to get a lot of control, you want to go into circular motions. So for me, let's do that same exact motions, kind of like combine them all together. And what you're basically looking for is around six or five or, or, or seven different shapes out of these, um, out of doing a liquify. So if I kind of go in a circle a little bit, give a little bit of a spiral and kind of pull off a little bit like this, then we'll go back into the circle and give a little bit of spiral. You can see what's kind of happening here is I'm making more individual shapes. Like when it gets like this, this is way too many, in my opinion, way too many, way too much swirl. You want to be a little more controlled. Um, it'll take a little bit of time, of course. Right. But I'm going to kind of like go in a circle. I can mix these together, make it one big one. Then I'll come down here, bring it back in, kind of swirl it. But realistically, what you're looking for, if I go back in here just like this, right? You're looking for shapes. So this right here is, I can say this right here is one shape, right? I'll say like this right here is another shape. This is two. I can say this shape right here 
is three, then this shape right here is four, etc. right? This is gonna be five, right? So basically you wanna look for one to five, or excuse me, five to seven different shapes. Um, and of course, if you wanna restart, you definitely can. Just go right here to restore all, click on that, and you restarted. So I'm gonna go do it again. Make sure I get a little bit fun right off the bat. There we go. I think that's a pretty good, pretty solid right there. Let's get a little more weird. Okay, I'm starting to like this a little bit. I actually like where this is. Let's say like a little bit more on that side right there. That could be kind of fun, but realistically, how many shapes is this? This is kind of like uh, one, this entire thing right here is one entire shape, right? And it kind of goes in the middle, which is kind of cool, right? That's like another shape. This is three, four. Mm, that's probably not enough. So I'm gonna go again, right? Let's kind of do something like this. That's kind of nice. I can be in here, by the way, for literally 30 minutes for just one liquefy effect. This is definitely the more tedious part, but this is also kind of like, you know, it's it's definitely the most important part. So at the same time, I think the most in time that you're spending in this is gonna be the best, or the, the amount of time you're spending in this. It's probably gonna be a, a good amount. Um, I can kind of mess around. I'm gonna speed art me kind of finding a good one, okay? Because I feel like I can stay here for a long time. So I'm gonna try to get at least a really good one from this exact same thing and restore all and go again. Okay, I think I got a pretty solid amount of shapes going on here. I think there's a quite a few. I would say this is basically one entire shape right here, right? You can say one, these are kind of like little miscellaneous things. This is like two right here, three, four, five, and you can kind of say this is all five. So I think this, I, I got about five really nice separated amount of kind of space going on here too. I think this is definitely gonna be it for me. I'm gonna press okay and lock this in as my shape, kind of like little, my liquify pattern, okay? So once I'm here, I'm pretty good. So right now, of course, this is a transparent, um, you know, layer that we got going on here. So I'm gonna take this exact layer. I'm gonna go ahead and open up Illustrator and on my Illustrator, I'm gonna use the same as I documents I have, which is 3840 by 2160, right? I have a red background, doesn't really matter right now, but make a new layer for myself to open it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, uh, this exact same layer, layer one, right in Photoshop, drag it literally outside into my toolbar, open up Illustrator, I'm still holding it, I'm still holding it, drop it in. Okay, we can just simply just drop in your layer. No need to save it or whatever. Just take the actual layer and drag it from one program to the other. It works like that if you didn't know. Um, I'm gonna take this, make it a little more bigger. The way I went, uh, the way I brought up the um, the free transform box, if I clicked on it, right? Hold control. You can see now the little anchors are popping up. I'll click on it, hold alt and shift, just like so, and I'll make it a little more bigger. So now that I'm here, this is basically gonna be a shape which is also gonna have a white background no matter what. Um, if you did save it as a PNG or uh, you know a, a PNG, a transparent PNG and put it in Illustrator, sure, it will do that. But if you didn't, it's gonna have white background. So what we're gonna do is, right, I'm gonna click on this layer, just like so, make sure you select the actual layer. Now with this, I'm gonna go to where it says window and we'll open up where it says image trace, right? I have it closed right now on accident. Boom, open it back up, just like this. This is what yours is gonna look like, okay? So when you do this, you wanna go to the drop down to preset and you want to use sketched art. I think this is my best one, my favorite one. So sketched art is going to really take exactly these black shapes here and kind of transform it into an actual illustration um, shapes, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and take the threshold and put it right above the M. I think it's a pretty good spot no matter what. Right now, it's not going to change probably too much, but if you have a lot of different more organic shapes or a lot more different uh, styles or whatever, of like maybe, maybe you want like seven or eight shapes and not five, right? Um, you're gonna probably wanna put that above the M no matter what, okay? So under advanced, I'm gonna drop this down. I'm gonna take the actual pass and put this up to about 80%. Take my corners, put this up to also around 80%. Take the noise, drop it down to one, okay? And I'm also gonna press ignore white. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't for me, um, but hopefully it works this time, but ignore white should also get rid of all the white. Let's see if it did. It didn't. If it didn't, it's whatever, okay? So once you guys have all these uh, uh, selected, by the way, if you don't also have previous selected, it won't actually preview it for you. So if, uh, also you probably wanna have that selected as well, okay? So once you guys have all these effects on this uh, layer right here, you can go to where it says object, expand. This table will pop up. You wanna make sure the object fill is uh, object and fill boxes are selected. Press okay, just like so. And now if I were to take my direct selection tool, just like this, you can see these are now these own individual shapes. Now keep in mind though, this white is also still here, right? If I just take this off, you can see that the white is also still there. In that case, if you wanna do that, if you wanna get rid of the white, I would wanna get rid of the white. You wanna click the white, go to where it says select, same, fill color, and then press delete on your keyboard. And now it's nice transparent, only the black is there. And it's exactly what we want here right now, which is, uh, this is it, okay? So this is the fun part. 
what we're going to do is we're going to select a few shapes here. So I'm going to say this shape right here is a pretty good shape to go with. Let's say this one here as well. Okay, and let's just say this one over here, right? So three different shapes. I like to always select around uh, half, basically. So if I had six shapes um, in total, I'll select three or two, okay? And if I have five shapes, I'm gonna select three or two, okay? So right now, uh, all I have is I'm kind of selecting this one right here, this one right here, right? And this one right here, which is kind of leaving me space in between. So I'm gonna have a pattern on this one. This will be a fill. A pattern on this one, this will be a fill. A pattern on this one, kind of like, of course, leaving the contrast to still be very visible and very like fun and lively still without having too much pattern next to each other, too much fill next to each other, okay? So what I mean by this, if I were to take these shapes again, select them, right? So I'm using the direct selection tool, which is this tool right here. Selecting, hold shift, select, hold shift still, select. I have all three selected. I'm gonna go to where it says effect and under stylize, we're gonna choose scribble. And this right here, this is where you're gonna have a little bit more fun, okay? So I like to go with custom settings, which is pretty cool, but I like to start off with sharp, okay? When I have sharp here, you're gonna immediately notice your stroke width is gonna be three points, no matter what, by default. I'm gonna put this immediately to 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.75, um, 0.8, pretty good too, right? And then scroll, put, you know, just kind of click down here. And right away, you're gonna see more strokes, which I think is perfect for us. We're gonna take this, put this down to zero. We're gonna take the spacing here, put this down also to around, let's say like, I think six, you can go even five. You're gonna have a lot of fun here, by the way. Um, you can take your variations, make this a little bit crazy. You can make it kind of do something like this. Weirdly enough, it, it could look cool. You never know. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with like, let's go with one. I think one's pretty good. And then spacing, let's just say like, let's just say like five. I think five is pretty good. I can even go like 0.85 here. Okay, and if you want to make, of course, you can make it like really weird and curvy. You can make it do, you know, a lot more different stuff. There's also more than just sharp. You can have zigzag, um, which is one I like to use as well. And try to change the spacing up here as well. Let's do with like a little bit like this. We'll take the stroke and make it like that. Zigzag is also a really, really cool one. I like zigzag a lot. Um, let's just go with zigzag. Screw it. And I, of course, change the angle as well. You can do that as well. You can see this. You can see us changing the angle of the zigzag. I'm going to say like right about... Here is pretty solid because you can see on the over here, this little side right here. If I move this up, you can see how much space is being emptied here. If I kind of move this back down, we can get rid of that space and close it up, which I think is perfect. We're going to press OK. And just like that, that's pretty much it, if I'm honest with you. This is literally it. I'm gonna, I can just take this exact same thing with this first tool right here. Select the entire canvas, right? Drag this into Photoshop, okay? And just press Enter. Just like that, we have our actual shape that we just made just now inside Photoshop now as its own little texture and it's also vectorized. So if you want to click back on it with this little page here, it'll open back up inside Illustrator. And let's just say you want to fix like your edge, your curves or whatever. You said there's too many pen tool markings here. You can take the pen tool mark, um, pen tool, excuse me, and take the, uh, the, the delete anchor pen tool, delete all these anchors or whatever, right? If I just move, let's just make it really weird. Just, just so you can see, right? If I move it, press save, just like so, go back into Photoshop, you'll notice Boom, it'll fix itself. And also get rid of the, uh, you know, fix everything you did inside Illustrator, it'll fix inside Photoshop as well. But for me, I'm gonna just take this, lower the opacity down a little bit, and I can just have a little bit of fun with this. You know, of course, you can use uh, gradients, also really work really well. You can just change the entire color as well. Let's change the color entirely to like, you know, like a purple, a nice dark blue. You can literally do whatever. At this point, it's its own little texture, and it's almost fun, very cool texture, but I like to just kind of like take the opacity and lower it. Um, but yeah. That's it. That's literally it. I made it as hopefully as fun as possible, uh, possible as easy as possible, because it is super easy. Um, it's just really, really fun, because of course, there's way more things than just the zigzag pattern that I use. Um, there's like, literally, you saw how many there was. There's so many different little fun styles you can try. Um, and also, of course, every time you make a new liquify, you know, little swirlies with the first three shapes, you're going to find something and you're going to make something completely different every single time. So it just makes it that much more fun. Um, but yeah, like we can even take these, right? We can go into here. We can make some strokes. Right, if you want to turn on the stroke, turn off the fill on this side. This is basically your fill color. This is your stroke color, right? So I turn on my stroke, make it black, take my fill color, which is the left one, turn it off by clicking on this little box right here. And then I can go over here where it says window and over here where it says stroke, right? Take the stroke, put the width up, and then put it on the inside or something like that, right? You can make some strokes, you can make some fills, you can make literally whatever you want. Um, that's all I got. I think this is fun. I think this is super cool. And I just want to show you guys, I think it's like one of those things I think a lot of you guys, I've, I've used this as actual branding elements for these really cool uh, uh, companies um, that they really love. It's really fun. It's very organic. It's very simple. And I think it's really easy to also kind of, you know, come away with also really cool stocks. Um, really quick, let me show you. If I want to take this exact one, right? 
only use this shape right here, right? I could take this, drag it into Photoshop. Okay, let's get rid of everything else. Right, and I can just use this as own little fun stock as a way to texturize the screen, right? If I just hold Alt to drag and make a duplicate, I can use this to also texturize a canvas as well. Guys, this is super cool. I wanna show you guys, this is one of my favorite things I've done in the past. I actually made a complete, uh, really fun, cool pack on it, which is called the background pack. If you guys wanna purchase and pick it up, um, I think it's like eight or nine dollars. I forgot the price, if I'm being honest. On my selfie.com, so that's the way to store. If you wanna check it out, I'll put in the description down below for you guys as well. But yo, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy it. I really, really do hope you guys use it, enjoy it, have fun with it, and uh, learn, experience it, and try it out, because I think it's one of those things that if you learn it, you might realize how much application it does have for you guys, especially the fact you can take the actual shapes themselves, the fun little organic shapes with the patterns inside of them, and make them their own little stocks as well. Tell me, tell me that's not cool. Let me know in the comments right now if this is cool or not, please, for me, because I think it's super, 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 super freaking cool. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. I love you guys so very freaking much. I appreciate you guys so very much. And uh, yeah, so also the merch, by the way, it's coming very soon if you guys were caring or wondering. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. So, so HQ out. So now we gotta keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking proud of guys. Later, much love, peace, and enjoy your day. And hope you have a fantastic weekend. Um, per usual. Yeah, and if you haven't subbed yet, you should probably do that. Just saying. Okay.